Community leader and entrepreneur in Oriade local government area, Lagos Chief Austin Ikubese has appealed to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu on the need to bring down the pump price of petrol to less than 200 naira per litre, advocating for a bill to be presented to the National Assembly proposing the allocation of 30% of Nigeria's crude oil for local refining. I was so sad to hear Mr. Nili Kiari, the group executive director of NNPC on Channel TV some weeks ago, saying even if our refineries are working, that the pump price per liters of petrol cannot be less than what it is today. That was a wrong call. Looks like he truly does not, he does not know what, uh, what, does not know the hardship that is going on in Nigeria today. The president came up, came out with a new hope agenda. Milik Yari's statement does not give Nigeria the desired hope in line with Mr. President's agenda. It does not. According to him, the 30% crude for local consumption should be quoted in Naira and not in dollars. Our oil for us to use should be quoted in Naira, not dollarized. And government should set up a strong task, task force drawn from civil society, labor union, trade union, ETC, with men of proven integrity to monitor the activities of the refineries also the vessel that will deliver the crude oil to the refineries. And the refined product, PMS, and AGO, ETC. The vessel should be painted with national color for easy monitoring and identification by the security agents to avoid diverting this product outside the border of Nigeria. He was speaking at a Christmas welfare program organized last week by his wife, Sarah Ikubese, Supervisor for Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Oriade Local Government Area. Very good things is happening in Oriade. If you are here this week, just this week, my able chairman, bless millions of people here with millions of naira. No, no, no local government can be compared to Riyadh. Chief Ikubese also advocated for quarterly or biannual meetings between the Commissioner of Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation and the 57 supervisors under the ministry. I want to appeal to Lagos State Government, who has always been setting the pace for good governance in Nigeria since 1999 for the Commissioner of Women Affairs and Poverty Elevation in the state to have a compulsory quarterly or at least biannual meeting with all the 57 WAPAs from the 57 local government and LCDA in the state. By so doing, they will be able to come up with programs that will touch lives of the people directly and will be able to elevate poverty in the land. Over 200 five kilogram bags of rice and financial aid were distributed to vulnerable individuals selected from various communities, including churches, mosques, and physically challenged persons across all seven wards in the Oriade local government area. I'm sure my heart is filled up with joy. I'm overwhelmed this afternoon that at least people are going home smiling, they're going home blessed. I will give you a short story. I did a little palliative in my office, not as big as this. Just called them to give them just cash. And uh, when some of them were going home and they were like sharing tears, oh, I've gotten what my children will eat this afternoon. I've gotten what my children will eat tomorrow. They were happy and I didn't even know. People came in and said, ah, those women that are going, they are just sharing tears and happy that they put a smile on their face. Oh, I felt so glad in my heart. I said, Father, thank you. Give me the opportunity to do more. I want to appeal to the federal, the Minister of, um, of Women Affairs and the, the commissioners. I want to appeal to them. They should remember we the grassroots workers so that we can meet the grassrooters 
so we can meet their needs because we are more closer to the grassroots. We are more closer to the to the less privileged around, so that we can make them happy. When we are when they are happy, it will, it will enhance the, the, the party. It will enhance the, the, the power of the party, so that the party will the party will, the people will know that the, the party APC is doing well even to the grassroots. So we are there to stand as a grassroots. So I'm appealing to them. I'm Mrs. Patience. Ife Arugudadi, I'm a businesswoman. I'm very excited for today's, for what I've just today. There's no woman like our Honorable Sarah. She's a woman of the people. Her heart is very pure, and the husband also, with the family. I pray that as she stretch out to the poor, and to the masses, Almighty God continue to bless her the more. My name is uh, Mrs. Blessing Ezekolo. I'm grateful and I appreciate uh, Honorable Sarah for the kindness he showed to us today. She's a wonderful woman. She always look up to the poor and always help the need. May God continue to bless her in abundance in Jesus' name. Am I ready? Go. Okay, yes, ma My name is Mrs. Veronica Ogudairo. I call it. Say that I never call your name. It's my daughter. I'm working in the office. That's what they do every year. That's what you first do for us. For really, not do openly like this. Not be this last year, self. And house, he husband, he carry a bag of rice, envelope. They cannot go give me for house. That's a two thousand a year two thousand. Not that time. So. Year 2001, the same thing. 2002, that the same thing. This year again, they know they take me pray. He and your husband. Responding to questions from the media about the welfare initiatives led by the office of the chairperson in the LCDA, Honorable Ramotalai Akinlola Hassan, Executive Chairman, Uriade Local Council Development Area, highlighted the ongoing efforts to providing welfare and palliatives for residents and indigents of the community, stressing the importance of sustaining the ongoing fight against poverty at all levels of government. It's very peaceful, like what you had when you were in the, in the hall. My woman is very peaceful because we are always very friendly. There's no how, there's no any how the woman being will walk that the head will not shake. There's no any challenges that will come forward to anybody that will never conquer. I thank God I'm still managing the, the challenges I'm having. And God has given me the wisdom. And understand it so can you, this area they could come in to a better place. I've done a lot of work. On Monday, I gave a pallet of one two hundred and fifty thousand naira to one million people. To one million people. And I celebrated my heroes that are there are no more and which they have their impact in this very local government. I celebrated their widows. We gave under 100,000 naira to each of them for over 60 people. When we make our two years in office, we did a pallet of 50,000 naira to 250 people. And we will continue to do it for social amenities for our people. Because the money belongs to them. So we have to exhaust some of them. 